Welcome to this quick demo on how to add a map to an app. I'm going to show how to add IDV maps to one of the demos that are distributed with ClickSense, namely the sales discovery demo. Uh, uh, note that this uh, app doesn't uh, isn't prepared for uh, maps, doesn't have coordinates for this, so we're going to use uh, Idevio's uh, location system for for using uh, for con for displaying things based on on names instead. Okay, so let's get started by uh, making some room on this sheet for the map uh, and drop in an Idevio map here. Uh, we're going to display uh, the customers with a bubble layer and we're going to use the city as, as their location. Okay, already we're there we get uh, a rough picture of where our customers are. Uh, let's improve a bit on that. We're going to tell it that we have uh, cities in, in uh, our dimension. However, however there are uh, cities with the same name in different places. So we're going to give it some more information to improve the accuracy of, uh, of uh, the geocoding here. So let's add state. Uh, and country. Okay, there we are. There we have some pretty accurate picture of where they are. But maybe it doesn't look that very nice. Let's add something that controls uh, the size of the bubbles. I'm using sales there. And add another variable that controls the color. Then we have a nice uh, map of where the customers are. But let's not stop there. Let's add some aggregated information based on, on country. Then we use an area layer. We're going to use a country to aggregate on and we put that in, in the dimension. Uh, and in the same way there we use uh, some measure to control the color. And there we are. There we have a nice map of where our customers are and aggregated information uh, on, on top of that in, in a different layer in the same map. So we can of course interact with the map. Let's do some selections. Let's investigate our South American customers. We can easily do a selection there. We can select there. And it of course connects and, and uh, shows it uh, on the map at the same time. So what we have seen here is how we easily can add uh, things to a map based on names. We don't need coordinates if they are well-known names. Uh, we also have seen uh, the layer concept in Adobe Maps, where we can add multiple layers easily on top of, of the map. Uh, that's pretty much it, what I would uh, like to talk about uh, today. So if you want more Im information, please take a look at bi.idevi.com or contact us at info at uh, I am Johan Persson. Thank you for listening.